This is the uh, Galapagos largest sinkhole. At least the largest sinkhole in Santa Cruz, I think. Probably the Galapagos as well. So there is a bend wherever the gas flows out. This part yeah, collapsed, yeah. but the gas flows out to the other side, following the bend. It's, uh, it's a smaller in an area, but about the same depth. Did this no. happen slowly over time? Or is it no, that happens sudden? once in one time. Just yeah. the yeah. down, really? the gas blows out on the other side. So how safe are we on the edge of this two thing? and a half million years ago. What's that? How safe are we on the edge of this? Could we drop are, any well, time. very safe. It's very, 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 <laughs> very hard. You can see different layers. Or oh, yeah. Thank you. That is mine. <laughs> it's my pocket. Thanks. It's for the hotel's internet connection. Oh, okay. Of course, they haven't told me what network it is, so like, it's I'm hard because you have 10 networks. We're on this side and only, only the two. That happened since the 1970s, 74, in uh, Fernandina Island. The main, main caldera in the, in the Fernandina Island already collapsed one time, 300 meters wow. in one time. You know, wow. that was a that was there is a lake, and right when in the middle of the lake there is a, was a small island, but that island already disappeared yeah. when that happened. That even happened, 1974. Whoa. It's a long fall. Mockingbirds, Galapagos Alps, and the Galapagos Park is uh, Spanish mosses and bromeliad. So, uh, we will see it in the way. Great. Like a bank with a great. Yeah. Parks, those are the blackberries, invasive plants, big problem for the lab because I am not possible to write cave. Mm -hmm. How does this work? Hard to write cave because you get a hundred or hundred seeds and the fruits, one fruit get at least nearly 3,000 seeds, they say. And then the birds, you know, they spray out all over. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they have good seeds. Hard to write cave. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still working on that, trying to write cave those. All right, let's. let's when I'm walking in, I would like to Hello. show you the. Yeah, 
With the forest, yes, yes, yes. be living amongst them? Land first, they were around over here at that in time. The, in the forest? Yeah, yeah. Well, around the forest, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was their natural habitat, you know. So That's they, why they're still coming up over here. So they don't, they didn't live down in the dry? Well, basically, it's a uh, hot and rainy season and cold and dry season in the island. In the hot and rainy season, there is a lot of vegetation and the transition zone. There is growing plants and there is a lot of food for those guys. Mm -hmm. But in the dry season, this is right now, oh, most of those plants already get burned by the, by the sunlight, mm -hmm. you know, they dry out and then it's not much to eat for them. And then they, they migrate coming up over here. So basically most of the males are coming up over here because it's a lot of vegetation for them. Mm -hmm. And females and babies, they stay in those, those areas where they crop in fruit or something to eat around over there. Know, but basically the males they, they need at least nearly a 10 12 kilograms of grass a day so in that in that case they, they, they start to migrate to the high up oh, yeah. high up you know wherever they can find a, a lot of vegetation for them they, 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 they eat uh, 12 14 different species of vegetation and they prefer most of the succulent vegetation rich in, in liquids in water already so this one is a male one and this guy is over 100 years Galapagos land for choices they can live at least at over 200 years. Over 200? Over 200, yeah. yeah. At least uh, two years ago, there was a, a male one who was taken from the island by Charles Darwin. He was left behind in one of the zoos in, uh, in Australia, in Melbourne, in Australia. Passed away, he was at uh, 225 years old. Harriet. Oh. <coughs> How was his name? Harriet. Harry. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Look at him, his neck out. It's really working my remote control here. Yeah. 20 kilos a day. That surprises me. That's a lot of vegetation. A lot of vegetation. I think he said tw I thought he said 12. Their metabolism works really, really slow. Didn't they say 12 so kilos a day? Yes, all that food takes them at least uh, a month. A month? A month. So after a month, you can find the large droppings. And those droppings, you can... You can Here's a female. Yeah. Posing. Or Professor Orr. How high up do they go in the... She's uh, paused eating. I suppose it depends on the... Oh. Yeah. yeah, depends on the weather. Uh, depends on the height of the island. Yeah. Yeah. Pick them while I get there. 600 meters. Wow, wow, wow. Well, well, well yeah, they got 200 years. You know, in, you in, in Alcedo Volcano in Isabella, they are around... Uh, what do you think, Farhad? What is that? Yeah. What do I think of the tortoise? Yeah. Tortoise? Yeah. Turtle. Turtle. I think she's shy and she wants to be left alone so she can finish her food. I don't know if there's any finishing. I'm just looking around. There's Farhad focusing on our trip here in Galapagos. <laughs> Enjoying and, uh, our time here. It's time to go to manual focus. And then, uh, start to solidify. Is all are, are all those rocks from lava? Yeah. All lava. We're walking, we're walking through the tunnel. And very from the outside. Yeah. 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 